Hello, I'm Debbie Polachek. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making a Anyway, let's get started. Since this is a thicker card here, it's almost a half an inch thick. I'm going to have to have, and since it's a bigger card, I've already tried to make an envelope with one sheet of paper. It doesn't work. So the next option would be is to make a box, a little box for this card. And I know that I need about, this is going to need about seven inches because it's seven inches will give me a little bit of uh, wiggle room inside the card. And I need it by four and three quarters, again, to give me a little bit of room. And so how I figure that out is I make a square. Because to me, it just makes better sense if I can visually see it. And so I know this is going to need to be four and three quarters, and this is going to need to be seven. Okay. And I'm going to need a half an inch. And half an inch here, half an inch here, half an inch there, half an inch here. At least. Okay. That's just to make a box. But if I could get another half an inch... If I'm going to use a piece of paper, I might as well do it and make it a little bit stronger box. So that will give me, so that's four, four and three quarters, plus a half an inch and a half an inch, be one inch, two inches. So that would be six and three quarters that I would need. That would be okay. Okay, this way I would have seven inches. And then half an inch, half an inch is one inch, and another half an inch, half an inch is two inches again. Seven inches plus two inches equal nine inches. So my cardstock needs to be six and three quarter by nine. Okay, that's to make the bottom. Okay, so now let me cut my cardstock at six and three quarters by nine. Now I need to take my scoreboard and a score tool. And this right here tells me where I need to score it. I need to score it at half an inch and at one inch. And I'll flip it around and do it a half an inch and one inch here. The same on the side. So in other words, half an inch and one inch all the way around. That makes it easy, right? Half an inch, one inch. Hope you can see. Yeah, let me move that over a little bit more. I wonder if I can get this away a little bit. I think that helped a little bit, huh? Half an inch and one inch. Half an inch and one inch. Half an inch and one inch. Okay, and I'm going to check my card and make sure that I did that right by putting it in the center here and that it should go within the score line and it does. Okay, so we're good. So next, what I'll do is I'm going to trim this. Okay, I'm going to cut this one, and this one, and this one off. These are go off all the way around. This is going to be cut into it, and these are going to be cut off. This one's going to be beveled in here and here on this last one. Beveled in here and beveled in here. So I'm going to do that all the way around. All three on the outside off and leave one to be to make the tab to go inside. So here we go. Cut these off. Bevel this one. Cut this one off and bevel this one. Okay. 
double off cut off double this one and cut this one off flip it around do the same thing Now we're going to take and go ahead and some clothespins, bevel my little tabs a little bit too because not they will not work out right. So I need to bevel these tabs just a smidgen. All four tabs. See how those are beveled? Now I can glue it together. Take these little tabs. I'm going to put a dot of glue on all four tabs. Take my clothespin. And I'm meeting these ends up so they're square. Okay, that should be good enough on this. Now I'm going to take my glue and glue these little tabs down. my bone folder against it till it sticks real good. Some score tape would probably be real good for this right now. You can do it real fast. It's in there nice. Okay, now I'm thinking a window sheet lid would be nice for this because why would you want to cover up your card, right? You just want it to get there nice. So, in order to make this window sheet lid, I probably want it a little bit thicker than the half inch so they could take it off easily. So, and I'll probably want it just a smidgen smaller than than this is. Okay, so this is four and three quarters by seven. So what I'm going to do instead of trying to make a measurement such a little bit smaller, I'm going to just cut it a little bit smaller. So what I mean by Okay, so this is four and three quarters. And so instead of a half an inch here, I'm going to give it three quarters of an inch on each side. That'll leave it about a quarter inch above, okay? So that means four and nine quarters. Eight quarters is two inches. So that's four, six, four and two is six. Nine quarters leaves me one quarter, six and one quarter. I believe that's right. Three, six, nine, eight. Yes, nine. So four, six and one quarter. 
that's what I need one deal with and three quarters here and three quarters here so that's seven and three quarters and three quarters is one and a half six quarters yes so that would be seven eight and a half by eight and a half that's what my window need to sheet needs to be but I was saying I want to cut it just a smidgen smaller than that I still want to do my scoring at three quarters but I want it to fit inside so I need it a little bit smaller so I'm going to take away so let's go ahead and do a measurement inside of here I'm going to go into the corners because that's where it's going to be truer to the size that I'll need it. So let's see where it stands at at this point. To be on the inside of here, it needs to be about four and a half. Okay. So that's about a quarter of an inch difference. Ooh. Well, more like five eighths instead of. So that would be three sixteenths off of there. Wow. Okay. Wouldn't have thought that. We're going to find out if that works. So, instead of six and a quarter, I'm going to back it off three sixteenths. So there's six and a quarter right there. Three sixteenths would be right there. So that's six and a one sixteenth. I sure hope that's right. Let's try it. I'm just kidding. I don't have very much window sheet. Okay, eight and a half. And minus off three sixteenths would be seven. I mean eight and no eight and a half. Yeah, eight and five. One, two, three, four, five, sixteenths. Okay. Let's cross our fingers. Now we're going to take the scoreboard. And we want that three quarter inch lip. So we're going to score this real good at three quarters of an inch all the way around. I'm going to run it back and forth several times here. Three quarters of an inch. Let's look at that and see what that's looking like. I can't see. Well, it looks like it could possibly work. So we'll go ahead and continue with this. And now I'm going to take the short end, I'm going to cut up just to that first score line, first score line, and again, I'm going to bevel these. I'm beveling each one of these. Can you see that? Okay. Do the same thing over here. Okay, I'm thinking. Terra tape would probably work good to glue this together, but first we're going to go ahead and try to. Um, I think I'm going to have to take it and score it some more because it doesn't really want to bend yet. So we're going to go around that three quarters of an inch and do it again, even harder. Yeah, I think that's better. Now we need that bone folder again. Okay, got there. Ooh, got there real good. I 
think it's not going to get in there, but it does. Somehow. It seems to go right where it's supposed to. That's a miracle. This score line is very hard to see. Probably been better off to score it before you cut it. I've done one of these, but it's been so long that I forget how things are done. Okay, now we're going to have to do some um, probably tear and tape or hot glue. Tear and tape would probably look better. Anyway, so let's keep our fingers crossed that this works. It looks like it worked. How about that? Okay, so see so the first time I did it, I didn't think about putting the little thing up a little higher because, and it was real hard to come out of there. But this is going to be easy to come out, and nothing would be better than tying it with another ribbon or even a little belly band. Let's see, what would we like? Let's go ahead and go with another piece of ribbon. Or would that be too much? Yeah, I think it would be too much. I think what I would do is go ahead. I think the gold. And I think that's it. Anyway, sometimes you just got to keep working until you figure it out. Thank you for watching the video through its entirety. So, I hope everybody has a nice day. Bye-bye.